Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you're welcome to this channel, Satellite Bonus. Um, in this video, we want to show you how to track any satellite of your choice without the help of anybody, anyone else. You can just do it yourself in your house. So, um, basically, when talking about tracking a satellite, the first thing you have to know is to know um, the, the particular satellite you want to track. You have to know the name of the satellite, not the particular satellite you want to track. Now, having known the name of the satellite that you want, the next thing is to know the frequencies that are attached to that particular satellite. Once you know the frequent, the name of the satellite, the frequency of the satellite, tracking that satellite doesn't, it's not, it's no work. All right? So, for Every satellite, it has its own set of frequencies. So that's why you have to know the satellite and these frequencies are attached to it. So for example, for this video, um, we'll be tracking Astra 2A. Astra 2A. It, Astra 2A normally it's on 28 degrees east. 28 degrees east. And it has um, some various it's frequencies. And one of the frequencies is um, 12525. Um, Polarization V and uh, symbol register detailing. So let's just go to our um, device or decoder. Um, okay. All right. All right. I think that is there already. I press your menu um, go to your TP list and um, look for that as satellite Astra 2A. All right, I think we just passed it. Okay, that's it, that's it. Now look for that frequency. If it's there, um, that's okay. But if it's not there, that means you have to um, impute the frequency on it. So having done this, Let's just go outside and track this particular satellite. All right. Um, having imputed the frequency, known the frequency, the next thing to do now is to install your support and make sure it's properly installed firmly and make sure it doesn't tilt to the right, to the left, to the front, or to the back, but backwards, all right? Make sure it's straight, so it will not give you issues. Now, having um, done that, the next thing to do is to uh, place your dish on your dish support, all right? You see it? Yes. See, make sure this place, um, this place, Oops, the top of your dish support like this. Yes, like this. Uh, then you can now um, tighten the the hook. This is the neck. All right. Yes. Now the next thing to know is that every satellite has a, a LMB position. All right. So for you to track every, any particular satellite, you have to know where the LMB, how it should be properly fixed, all right? Every satellite has um, LMB position, what you call LMB skew, all right? So for this one, this satellite we are tracking, Astra 2A, that's 28 East, Astra 2A, it's, you can either put it on 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, or you can work for, it should be 3, 4, all right, 9, 7, or even... So, just experiment with your location, the location that you are, all right? So, after that, you have to understand um, um, the location, how the, that satellite is located, 
you have to know how that satellite is located. For this one, this uh, Astra 2A is 28 east. It's located in the east. So, but if you don't know um, where the east is of that particular place, particular place that you are, what you have to do is just be turning it around until you get that um, frequency. So, having know that now, just plug um, your closure cable, end of your closure cable. What I do when I track is that I wrap it around the arm this way, then I'll connect it to the LMB. All right. So I think we can start um, tracking this satellite. Okay. Now, our advice as a beginner, if you are a beginner, don't worry, don't worry. All right. Although there are apps you can know the, you can use in knowing the elevation of a particular satellite. All right. So, but see, as a, as a newbie, what you just do, just from the lowest point, you can turn right, left, right, left. Just keep turning. You can turn it around to see the visual clockwise. If it doesn't catch, what you do, then you increase um, the elevation a little, then you tighten it. You tighten it. All right, tighten it. Then you move it clockwise and clockwise, clockwise and clockwise. You can turn it around, all right? And if it doesn't catch what you do, you, you're you losing the elevation and in, you're losing it. Then you increase it a bit, a bit. You keep doing this until you notice um, signal on your on your dish. All right. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. So if it doesn't catch, same thing. Just do same the same thing. The same thing. Losing your elevation. Increase it. All right. Then tighten it. Tighten it, turn it right, turn it left. As you can see, there's no, there's no sign of signal coming in at all. Just turn it, you can turn it 360 degrees, all right? So if it doesn't catch what you do, um, losing the elevation, keep doing that until you notice signal on your dish. Then increase it a little, tighten it. Yeah, you can turn it right now. Turn it left. You can turn to it 60 degrees until you notice um, the signal on your dish. You see, there's no sign of signal. And let me see. Let me take it down a little. There's no sign of signal. I'll still take it down a little. All right. I think uh, there was a sign just now. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Um... Then um, just tighten, now the signal on your dish, tighten it. 
Make it firm. Make it firm. Make it firm. Make it firm. Firm man on the firmness. Make sure it's firm. I think that's not going. Let me use the flat type. All right. All right. Make sure it's firm. The division is firm. See, I'm not in the hurry. Not in the hurry. Then make sure um, this end also is firm. All right. Yes. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Make sure until you know it's firm. Until it's firm. If it's not firm, it's going to be giving you issues. Make sure it's very, 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 very firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you notice it's not firm, um, you can stop tightening. All right, I think mine is firm now. Yeah. Yes, I think mine. This is firm. All right. Once you notice it's very firm, you can just um leave, um stop tightening. All right. Now let's go inside and see. Almost there. Yeah, um, all right, as you can see, um, the signal on this dish, the signal, you see that frequency 12525, um, polarization V, um, uh, symbol 30,000. This is Astra 2A on 26, 28, sorry, 28 degrees east, 8 degrees east, all right? So for you to start seeing the stations now on your screen, the next thing you have to do is um, you scan. You scan, you scan. So you see um, the green button on the screen. If you check your screen, you have to show search, search. The blue button, sorry, is search. All right, search. So what I'll do, I'll not just do search. I'll, um, I'll just blind scan. I'll just do a blind scan. All right. All right. Do you want to save? Yes. I want to save. Okay. All right, exit.
was right. We want them to do That's it. It's very simple. Please, if you have any question you want us to help you with, um, you can just please make the request on the comment section and we'll get it done for you. All right. Please like this video. Um, place a positive comment on this video. Share this video. And if you know you've not, you maybe this is your first time watching our channel any video on our channel please subscribe press the subscription button all right thanks for watching satellite boards